everyone this is me satya here and i'm back with the love readings this is going to be for the sign of libra let's see what are the secret messages that your person wants you to know what is it that they secretly want to tell you but they are unable to say that to you directly so yeah let's find that out uh whoever it is that you're dealing with let's find out what are their secret messages for you First, we're going to take the answer to that, like, you know, what are the secret messages for you through tarot, and then we're going to take cards from the decks that I made recently. So, yeah, stay tuned, and while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram, where I do upload daily readings. So, let's dive into the reading, let's find out what are the secret messages from your person. Let's find out. What do they want you to know? Queen of Cups, the Hermit, Ten of Cups. And in the deck, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. <sighs> Your person really wants you to know that they are basically uh, waiting on for you to. Um, To come and offer them putting your effort into this uh, connection now you know they they're really looking forward for you to um you know um put effort into this connection as they have been doing that lately for some of you it can be exactly the opposite maybe you they are telling you that okay fine you have been putting efforts into this connection now i feel like you know now i'm ready to you know put my effort into this connection as well because this is what they want with you and they, they don't want anything less than this with you for sure so i feel like you know that your person really wants you to know that they have been heavily thinking about you know this connection that they have with you and they now feel that uh maybe they are ready to uh you know um i feel like you know seeing the card only the seven of pentacles it seems like you know you, they are basically um they are telling you that they are not putting any effort into this connection now. You will have to make a move towards them. They have been very hopeful around this connection and they are waiting for you to reach out to them. That's what I'm picking up. Majority of you maybe. Um, especially, I feel like and if you are a feminine energy, it seems like you, know, you are waiting for your person to basically come forward and um, put effort into this connection. And if you are masculine here, I feel like you know they they uh you you have to be the one. Um for those of you who feel like you know I have been the one, you know, who always put the effort into this connection, then how can you know they say that to me? Um, you know, it has been like, you know, my responsibility always and now I want them to take action and stuff like that. I feel like, you know, in that situation, your person is really, really, really very uh, egoistic. Somebody who's very stubborn as well. They always want to, you to put effort into this connection. They don't want to, you know, put effort themselves. But yes, there is strong love. There is a strong connection that they have with you for sure. Um, there is love. There is something that you both uh, equally and mutually want. But I feel like, you know... Um, there is some sort of ego issues coming in this connection between the two of you and they they might be telling you that okay fine i have been putting the effort now i don't want to put effort into this connection once you are ready once you are ready to deal with me the way i am come forward and marry me so that's what they are telling you right now let's see more cards here let's find out the nature of the person maybe or the physical features of the person that you are dealing with dark hair bold eyes tall lean and fit it can be your energy it can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with as well subtle features quite modest mysterious wise counselor innovative it can be you again or it can be the person that you are dealing with as well so let's pull some cards from this deck let's see addictions I feel like you know you both are addicted to each other and you cannot stay away you cannot uh, you know stay you know with each other as well why because the, you do have different nature is what i'm picking up happy go lucky but you both are like you know very fun loving is what i'm picking up or they believe that you are fun to be with and you are the happy go lucky kind of a person for them let's see more cards here let's see what else do they have to say to you okay
so you have been in my dreams lately they really want you to know that um uh, they have been heavily thinking about you and they have been seeing you in their dreams as well and they are very hopeful that one day you are going to come forward to offer them and accept them the way they are because i don't see this person changing here i don't see them changing they feel like you know you should accept them the way they are this person is somebody very stubborn and maybe you are the one who is egoistic or it can be vice versa you are an angel they do believe that you are the angel uh, for them as well but at the same time they they want you to understand that you have to accept the facts the way they are you cannot run away from the reality and that's what they are waiting for you to understand i am sad and lost without you they do miss you a lot they feel sad without you but at the same time they are being stubborn like i said you are my world they do believe that you are their world and they are definitely missing you and thinking of you heavily but at the same time they want you to make a move towards them this person is definitely egoistic too uh but i feel like you know it's it's more of a mutual energy that you share uh you know uh together is what i'm picking up let's see more cards here <sighs> kisses and hugs and love from them to you Cancer Leo, the person that you are dealing with could be, uh, you know, Leo or Cancer as well. Um, then we do have never be afraid to be yourself. That's what they are telling you, that they are not afraid to be themselves and you have to accept them the way they are. They are also telling you that, okay, fine, I accept you the way you are. So just come forward and, you know, just be mine. Dream big. I feel like, you know, you both have different, uh, you know, passion for your work as well. Maybe you both are workaholics or something around those lines as well. For some of you, maybe you are very career oriented, both of you. Uh, there are certain, you know, dreams and goals that you work towards as well, uh, maybe mutually or individually. But I do see that you both are like, you know, on that, uh, uh, on that, uh, on the same page when it comes to your career goals as well. Let's see uh, more cards. Let's see what else do they want you to know. Um, you turn me on like anything. They, they are very sexually drawn to you as well. You just kill me with your smile. They just love your smile. The way you smile at them, it's like, you know, that's something that turns them on a lot. Um, you are one sexy bitch. That's what they feel for you. They feel like, you know, you are the one sexy bitch for them. And then we do have, you are my happiness. They do believe that you are their happiness as well. So I feel like, you know, the connection is pretty much strong between the two of you. But yes, I do see ego and stubbornness coming from either both sides or from at least one side in this connection as well, which could be the reason why, you know, things are kind of, uh, um, you know, not moving forward right now. Maybe you are waiting for them. They are waiting for you as well. So it's, it seems like, you know, you both are not ready to make effort or, you know, make uh, make the first initiative move towards the other person. But I feel like, you know, it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to change. Um, and like I said, because of the addictions, I don't think that you will be able to stay away from this person. Let's take one card from the middle of the deck just to see, are you guys going to meet up or communicate soon? Nine of Swords, uh, you will be having a lot of uh, them on your mind. You both will be finding, uh, you know, it's very hard to sleep uh, alone without this person because I feel like, you know, you, you do miss them. They do miss you. And it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of time that, you know, you understand that, okay, fine, you have to accept the way, you know, each other the way you guys are instead of, um, you know, trying to change them for, for, uh, for, for yourself. Because uh, then only you will be coming forward to have a future with each other, which is going to last forever. You know, otherwise it's going to be like, you know, on and off thing between the two of you, which it might have been happening for the two of you lately. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.